In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Good morning to everyone joining us at home for Mass as well. Hoping you're all well. I'm offering this Mass for Nikki Jenkins as a first anniversary. Also remembering our prayers, Father Thomas's mum, I was in touch with him yesterday. She had a fall recently and ended up in hospital briefly. So please remember her in your prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today in the first reading from Isaiah, we hear a continuation of his words of comfort and consolation to the people of Israel. Today's passage is taken from a chapter known as the Second Song of the Servant. And right at the end of the passage, we hear the words that many Christians will know off by heart. Today we're told that even if a mother forgets her child, God will never forget us. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. At the favorable time, I will answer you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estate that lay waste. I will say to the prisoners, come out. To, throw who, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. On every roadway they will graze, and each bare height shall be their pastures. They will never hunger or thirst. Scorching wind and the sun shall never plague them. For he who pities them will lead them and guide them to springs of water. I will make a highway of all the mountains, and the high road shall be banked up. Some are on their way from afar, others from the north and the west others from the land of Sinem. Shout for joy, you heavens, exult, you earth, you mountains, break into happy cries. For the Lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted. For Zion was saying, the Lord has abandoned me, the Lord has forgotten me. Does a woman forget her baby at the breast or fail to cherish the son of her womb? Yet even if these forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. We say the psalm together. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him for their hearts. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. 
God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, My father goes on working and so do I. But that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him, because not content with breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father and so made himself God's equal. To this accusation Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the Father doing. And whatever the Father does, the Son does too. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does himself. And he will show him even greater things than these, works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, So the Son gives life to anyone whom he chooses, for the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son as they honour the Father. Whoever refuses honour to the Son refuses honour to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment, he has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when the the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father who is the source of life has made the Son the source of life, and because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did good will rise again to life, and those who did evil to condemnation. I can do nothing by myself. I can only judge as I am told to judge, and my judging is just, because my aim is not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, Isaiah says God will shepherd his people back to him, just as Moses led his people from slavery in Egypt. In many ways, we too are slaves, not slaves in the conventional sense, but slaves to sin. St Paul put it best when he said, I cannot understand my own behaviour. I fail to carry out the things I want to do, and I find myself doing the very things I hate. Each one of us can recognise the truth of that statement from our own lives. Sometimes our lives feel like they're in a mess, that whatever we do, we end up getting it wrong. Into those circumstances come the words of the prophet Isaiah. Even if a mother forgets her child, I will never forget you. The burden of our sinfulness is one that Jesus has taken from us, and so we need only turn to him to experience salvation, freedom and hope.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. By God bless. Them.